All right, hello, welcome to another episode of the Bradford City career mode. Today we are going to be facing against uh, facing off, I should say, against Colchester. We have an absolutely disastrous manager rating, and I'll show you why just quickly. It's not really, but well, I guess it kind of is a big deal. Um, it's one of the reasons, anyway. Uh, we'll go to the player chats quickly first to show you. Um, Leonard Grill is very unhappy because he is not getting the chances that he feels he deserves. Rossi's just overtaking him and he's younger, so it's kind of how the cookie crumbles. So we have accepted an offer for him. I'll show you that as well quickly before we go into everything else. We've got an offer of fixed... Well, I'll say we accepted an offer. We've nego we're negotiating an offer. Uh, we got offered 6.7, but I believe I countered with... Um, no, uh, the, ha the highest is 8 point million, but no lower than 7.5. And I think that's a very fair price. Um... Of course I would, because I am the club uh, the player's manager. But hopefully it means we can get a good bit of money to uh, spend in the championship on top of what we might get. But another problem is, the manager popularity rating is below target. We've got youth development done. Done the the uh, attendance. Um, domestic success is going to fuck us here, I'm going to be honest with you. It's low priority, but we fucked up getting to the round of, thir uh, round of 32 stage. We've got to round of 64 and... Uh, Choked against Stoke. Stoke choke, we'll call it. And we had to gain automatic promotion, which is now out of reach. Mathematically, I'll show you the table. Barnsley are 94, I want to say. No, not 94. 98. 98, that's it. 98 points, which means we can only get 12 out of our, uh, our last games, which means we'll only get a maximum of 96, which means it's out of reach. Peterborough, I think, after this game, if they win, they'll clinch a league title, which is good for them. Barnsley most likely going to go up automatically, which means we'll have to fight between um, Ipswich, Millwall, Lincoln, MK Dons, and Charlton. I think Wickham might be out of the race, but they could mount a late charge. I don't know anything's possible, but they are playing Peterborough in their next game, so I highly doubt that. But we've got Colchester, and I saw a little graphic here on the news feed. Not that one. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, this week's star performers, we didn't really have any, which is kind of sucky, but then again, neither did. Also, oh no, Corey Roberts is in there. Huh, cool. Um, but we beat Colchester 2 0 last time. Obviously, they're down near the bottom. We're kind of near the top, somewhat perhaps. And this is what I was meaning Millwall are going to be playing against Charlton Athletic. If Charlton, fingers crossed, if Charlton can stop them, if Charlton can get a win here, that will put us in a hell of a position. These two are, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure they're local rivals as well. I'm pretty sure, but anyway, like I said, if they if Charlton win and we win, that'll slow Millwall down at least. Anyway, we can't catch them with this win if we win against Colchester, I should say. But uh, that'll slow them down anyway. Before we uh, go in, I'm changing the squad around a bit. I'm hesitant to use Grill because I'm pretty sure low morale makes them play worse. But we're gonna risk it. Nothing but a risk taker. Which is Everton, Laganov and Wood a little bit upset as well, but they're three men who will be leaving, probably. Uh, I, I say three men, uh, Laganov probably got a loan. A lot of morale going down here, but it's towards the end of the season. I need the best players at their best. It's crunch time, basically. But you know what? I'm not anything if... Uh, I'm anything... I'm fair, basically, is what I'm trying to say, but I'm missing up my words. I'm a fair man. I'll keep Miller there, actually. Henley looks pretty tired. We're going to have this squad, I think, heading into the Colchester game. I need Greenwood and Hoshik up front. I know they've not been doing wonders, but I just can't risk anything else right now. Uh, do we put O'Leary in? I think we do. I think we do. A bit of game time for him is decent. Uh, we'll put Akpa on the bench over Beaton. Anybody else needs to come on. McCartan actually asked for a start. So this male's going to drop to the bench ahead of Rob, uh, not Roberts, Vaughn. I know Vaughn's got full fitness, but Roberts is just a star player right now. I think that's what we roll with. Anyone else in the reserves I kind of want on the bench? No, I think we're good. I think we're good like that. Obviously, not everyone at full fitness, but we're close enough. We've got Grill in goal. I know he might play like shite because his rating, or his, I should say his uh, morale is tanked. His stats have gone down quite a bit. That might be a risk here, but we're going to play him anyway. Maybe try and get his rating up a little bit. We've got Kakache in goal. We, oh, sorry, Kakache in goal. We've got... <laughs> I thought I'd read that team here, actually. We're not even on the menu. I'm not with it. I've just got back from the doctor's appointment, so I'm kind of, like, not fully with it. My, I've, one of my ears is blocked, pretty much, so... It's 
Kind of throw me off a little bit, but we'll go in. We've read the news. We've done everything we need to do. We've got Leonard Grill in goal. Liberato Kakache and uh, Kelvin Meller as the fullbacks. Joel Worrell and Tom Hennessy as the centre-backs. Worrell, of course, captaining the side. We've got a youth midfield, which is a bit of a risk, but hopefully it'll pay off. We've got Dermot O'Leary, or Donald O'Leary. I keep calling Why do I keep calling Dermot? Is Dermot O'Leary someone famous? I'm pretty sure he is. Donald O'Leary and Grinkov. I won't, it won't be the last time I call him Dermot, trust me. Uh, as our uh, centre mids, they're a youthful little uh, midfield partnership. Hopefully they can do some business, show why they're going to be future stars. Carbonero and McCartan, the attacking midfielders. McCartan asked for a game, so I'm giving him one. And Logic and Greenwood up front. Despite having full fitness, that's kind of the duo we're going for. We don't need to know about Barnsley, they're out of reach. We need to know about... Oh, 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 oh. Look at this double header. I'm not trying to scroll down some MK Dunn's game. These two. Lincoln and Ipswich, Millwall and Charlton. These are all rivals of ours, and they're facing each other. If someone... I don't know who I want to win. I guess Ipswich would be better beating Lincoln because it means that it slows Lincoln down a bit. And we, if we win, we'll overtake them, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I want Charlton to beat Millwall, so it slows Millwall down. Although, actually, Millwall winning would be decent as well because it keeps Charlton further and further away. Obviously, I want Coventry to beat MK Dons, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Don't need to know about Actually, no, I might as well put the Wick and Peeper game on. But anyway, we're going to load it in. I've named the squad and uh, we'll get going. Hopefully... Get a win here. We won against the 2-0 early, uh, earlier in the season. And um, even though they dominated us in League 2, we can get a double over them in League 1. My next door neighbour's dog is barking, which means my dog's going to bark. She's always fun. But luckily I can only hear it out of one ear, so... Try to get some good shots off here, Carbonero. We need to beat this keeper as many times as we can. Don't need Gherkin having another season like he did in Season 1. Anyway, we'll load in. Pretty sure Gergen got like 20 odd clean sheets for Colchester in League 2. And he's 32 years of age. I, I literally checked his age just because of how good he was playing. Anyway, we are at home to Colchester United. Like I said, all fours from League 2. We chased them up the table. Or I say they chased us and overtook us in League 2. Ended up winning the League 2 title ahead of us. We finished in second, gaining automatic promotion from League 2. Season after being relegated in real life, obviously. And Sigurd has set a score for Lincoln, which means Greenwood is not top scorer anymore. But I think that isn't the most important priority anymore. We are on the verge of falling out of the top six, and we need to make sure we don't actually fall out of top six. I'm counting on Coventry to do me a solid here, and I'm also counting on the other teams to, uh, that I want to win to actually win. I want Charlton to beat Millwall, I think. I don't know. Either way, I, c I guess it could go either way. I wouldn't be too bothered. Um, a draw probably the best result. I would like Lincoln to lose to... Who is Lincoln playing? They were having a... I can't remember. Ipswich, I'm pretty sure. It was Ipswich and Lincoln. I want Lincoln to lose that because we can catch up to them. And Ipswich, I've already got playoffs anyway, so I guess that'll help them. But I don't know. I just want the uh, results to go our way. I don't know what way they are. There is our squad. Playing a slightly young midfield and an unhappy goalkeeper. Putting a lot of risk in this year. A lot of risk. I'm hoping our defenders can hold strong against their attack. We've still got Noble, or Noble. Nuble, I don't know how you pronounce it. But he is there. We've still got a strong squad from Malik too. But is it going to be a squad that will beat us, or is it going to be a squad that we will beat? I'm hoping that we'll beat them. But FIFA 20, and if it's possible, we kick off with Loshek, and we get the game underway here at the Valley Parade. Meller almost look. Are you... No, 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 we're not doing this. We're not. Miller has lost possession early. Absolutely no clue how. If that fucking works out. Good header by Warrell. A little bit of def early defending there. I didn't expect to have to do. Not where I was in the past. Flush it could just... Nope, okay, cool. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Greenwood has scored immediately. I could have gone alone with Carbonero there. And probably scored it. I saw Greenwood in a bit of open well, space, and he's not going to miss that. Mason Greenwood peels away from the centre back, gets a header on target. Gherkin, surprisingly unable to stop that. Four minutes in, Mason Greenwood scores again. 31 now for the boy, Mason Greenwood, who is going to be a career mode legend for us. Well, I know it. He needs to grow more, obviously. He's only 72 to 73 rated right now, but we have got plenty of time 
to work on his growth. He hits a potential of 87. I've said this many times, but with dynamic potential, it could go higher. But really, what is most important here is not the scorer, but the score itself. 1-0 within four minutes. And that, if anything, is a good morale boost. I know it says one, two, three there, but it's just the three in that order. Obviously, Millwall fourth in the actual league. It switched to and Lincoln fifth. I did it in that order, but Millwall apparently one of the favourites to get a automatic promotion, even the league title. They're only going to get playoffs this season, most likely, and apparently the media is not happy about that. Oh, to be fair, we were one of the ones that were touted for possibly automatic promotion as well. And it hasn't happened. And that's that, that's partly down to the game being absolute ass towards me. Partly down to me for not playing well enough, to be completely honest. Because we can't get around Vincent Younger. No, we can't. Greenwood can't get the ball either. That's a bad pass in Mellor. Can we just... Why call for the offside there? We perfectly know well. Charlton have scored against Millwall. I've not really been listening to the goal news. I'm kind of looking at it on my stream when play stops. I might need to move that... Uh, I might need to move my chat bar from the top right just so I can see goal news. At this point in the season, it's very imperative. Especially if results aren't going my way. McCartan, we're just going to pass it back to, Hen, uh, to Mellor. Sorry, I'm so used to having Henley there. McCartan controls again. We're going to have Sterling there next season anyway. Not Sterling, you all know of Raheem, but Dujon Sterling, who is 21, 68 rated, should grow quite well. I don't know how well he's actually going to grow, but he said he was, had the potential to be special, so hopefully he grows quite a bit. Worrell clears up the mess. O'Leary now. Jack makes a space for himself here. Interesting play. Loshek back into O'Leary. It's interesting. It's possible. Oh, he's tried to toe poke it there under pressure. He's done very well, but unfortunately, not going to be 2 0 just yet. Or maybe it might not be 2 0 at all. Knowing this game, it probably won't be, but. That's. <laughs> hmm. We can defend this. All right. Yeah. Not exactly how I want that to go, obviously. Can we, can we go out the fucking way? That guy's just like blocking the avenue I want to take with this. I mean, Grinkov. Spots McCartan maybe making a run, thinking about it. So obviously, it's not going to go over to him because he's got a left back against him today who actually knows what he's doing. I think, anyway, he's taller and stronger, so. Kind of a struggle. Don't want to let him through, and we don't. Oh, we, we might. Worrell's been taken down, but Hennessy manages to get it away. Don't know what happened with Worrell there. We'll take a look back here. He just gets caught, but it's not 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 a foul. Not enough for a foul, really. It's just a little bit of a tangle. Grinkov brings it away. O'Leary. I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Does he run through? No. I. I mm. Okay. Okay. So how could O'Leary ride a challenge at the age of 16, but Greenwood can't do it right now when he's. Well, Probably our player of the season. I, you know, it's confusing this game. It really is. No way has he made it through here. He's taking it out too far wide. Good, good, good. Um, we should be able to get it danger clear. That wasn't the best play from them. And now Vincent Young's got a race against McCartan here. And it's going to be a foul. But it's going to be continued by Miller. I don't know why, actually. I should have just let it go for the foul. <laughs> to be honest, but I didn't. And could Green will get for his No, he can't. I probably shouldn't be surprised at this point. Not the best passes from Greenwood this season. More intent on scoring, which I can't really fault, but I need him to be a team player. Vincent Young, I think he's a left back, the one that has been marking McCartan so far this game. He's put it wide, and he's going to get a card here as well for the earlier challenge on McCartan. Now, can we just please not drop points here? That's all I want. I know Grill's not having. A happy time of it right now at Bradford, but maybe if I give him a couple more games towards the end of the season. Not obviously not like Millwall or any of the top teams that we still need to play, but maybe some of the lower tier teams. Maybe give him a game. Just and hope. Don't keep it going, pass. keep it going, keep it going. Don't let it stop, don't let it stop, don't let it stop. Can they convert? No, we can't because we've <laughs> I don't know why I press B after the fact while still on Floshek. He just made him stumble for no reason. Tackle in, but he's space. not gonna keep the ball as Grinkov. Tackle again, but it's still not worked out. And now Nuble is going to beat Meller for pace. Oh, nice That's undeniable. The Hennessy clears the up the mess. Beautiful defending there. O'Leary, can we make Carbonero have a run here? He might have a chance to make a run. He has got a chance to make a run. We're going to try and knock it in. It's a very bad cross. But it's going to 
I could have been left for the goalkeeper there to play, but Colchester have given us a cheap corner, which I'm not complaining about. The cross of Carbonero was bad, I'll say that for it, but we've got a corner here out of nowhere, and it could lead to a second, perhaps, for Bradford City. Or 1 0 up through Mason Greenwood, who's trying to prove that he can keep up with Sigurdsson of Lincoln City in this League One Golden Boot race. But that's not important. What's important is getting points, corner. getting into the playoffs. And a very important, most important, I would say, is winning the playoffs. Can't pass Cabernet because he's offside. We're going to try and just deliver it. Nobody's, none of the players near the ball have been locked Can't onto. It's interesting. Okay, this is a problem. Actually, no, we've got enough people back, I think, to, de to deal with this. Could be wrong, though. And I'm coming all the way across from Hennessy here. That's not the smartest idea, but Kakache has got a strong header on it, and it's away. O'Leary. Oh, come on, move out the fucking way. I know you're not meant to because you're a defender, but please, just for the... What? What happened? Did I catch him? Oh, well, let me watch back. Watch back. Okay, yeah, caught him a little bit. Fair enough. Free kick now. Pell's going to be standing over it for Colchester. See, I'm fine with decisions like that when they're actually fairly made decisions. If it's just decisions that are fucking stupid, then I'm going to get mad. Grill. Mello's going to get bloody thingy marked is the word I'm looking for but can't find and it's just gone straight to them again oh good save by Grill I'm not sure where the shutting down was there from my defenders it just didn't come in I don't know why it stuck on Kakache for so long I was trying to get back to either Hennessy or Oral and it just stuck on Kakache with the fucking arrow there but Grill saying fuck you Theo Johnson I could do that if you put me in the net and uh, he's showing me a little bit here of what he uh, brought when he first came in He's still a good goalkeeper, but he's too good to be a backup. Well, not quite. I mean, he's not, but like, he doesn't want to be backup, so kind of have to maybe move him on. And that's a turn. It's not going to work because there's physical strength, the culture of defence there. If they score before half-time, I'm going to be a little bit pissed, to be honest. And he's broken free. Easy save for Grill at the end of the day. Not the best of shots. Hennessy. Rinkov. We've got a few minutes by the time here. I didn't see or hear. I think it was three. In possession, Mella. Come on, put some fucking shit shots. behind it, honestly. Well, Next to no power position. on it. Can he take advantage? Maybe we should pass it to an open target, but I didn't, so something off. Oh, I can't get a shot off. And they're not going to get a shot off before half time. It's 1 0 Bradford at the break. Which I should be happy with, but I want to get a second. I'm sick of going 1 0 up. And then eventually conceding and they equalise and I just mess up. I want to get two goals before the, 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 the opponents, I should say, score one. And the only team I've been able to do that recently against Brent or Burton. I'm trying to think of other teams I've been uh, able to do that against. So if you can hear me drinking water, I'm sorry. I just need to keep my voice alive. There are the squad. Uh, the score. The uh, scores. Are on the grounds. Lincoln losing, absolutely beautiful. Millwall losing, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Wickham and Peterborough drawing, interesting. Who else did I want? Uh, MK Don's also drawing. So we at the moment have got the best results so far. I just need to try and not fuck it up. I didn't hit trainer. I scrolled across two match facts, but my D pad didn't respond. There is the match fact. So equal, I guess, in this game. But we've got the goal. And that's the most important telling stat of all. To based on Let's try and so push a for a second begins. here and not let them score, despite the fact that our key prize is very low morale. Vincent Young, with it. Vincent Young try to run down this wing. McCartan will match him for pace, even if he doesn't Probably match him for strength. He's given it to the and opposition. it's intercepted by McCartan. Grinkov now. O'Leary on one more to Carbonero. Giving the ball away. Touches are heavy for my players, it's kind of mine. So Gerdeson scored again, and Colchester had an absolute rocket of a shot. They didn't get closed down by my defenders. I think I'm just going to have to accept that I might not win the golden boot, but Dunn's had a thunderbolt there, and Grill's done very well to tip that round the post. Full credit to Leonard Grill there. Lincoln were going to score against Ipswich. They just were, weren't they? It's just my luck. And eventually, Colchester will score against and us and it'll just fuck up the entire the table. Area. Should be caught, and it is caught. We're just going to yeet it away. 
I don't know who's going to get there. I mean, obviously Vincent Young's going to get there. I mean, I don't know who's going to get there for us because O'Leary is having a little, uh, what the hell? I can't do anything here, but I could try, I guess. They're going to get all their players back. McCartan. He's going to get a chance here, and it's oh, it's not 2-0. What? How's that not been in then? O'Leary chased that down incredibly, and it came to McCartan eventually after a couple of passes, and he's just shot it wide. Unfortunately there, not 2-0, but what? I've got to give full credit to Donald O'Leary there, chasing that down and putting Vincent Young under enough pressure to give the ball away. It's just I didn't have any other options at that point. Well, had to pass it across the middle. And, and they're going to make a substitution. It's Dunn, who change. almost scored the equaliser for them. Going off, interestingly enough. We might have to make some substitutions pretty soon. Fitness is going to be an issue, especially... I think we've got another game at the weekend. The game's kind of stacking up here towards the end of the season. Hennessy. Wins a header, wins a physical battle as well. It's come to O'Leary, who's not put out a uh, bad performance, to be completely honest. And O'Leary here. Brinkov. I need some place against the space here. Extremely That's not... Well, it is the pass I was trying to make, but it's not the technique I wanted on it. I'm being honest. I wanted to get it to Carbonero, actually, but he ran offside as soon as I was thinking about passing it. Flush it into Greenwood. It's not the best pass. Can we get it back in the middle? Nope, it's going to be a corner. Is it? It's not going to be a corner. What the shit? Okay, cool. I... I need Greenwood to develop that extra yard of pace very, very soon. I think I might need to sign a pacey striker in the uh, summer to go alongside him because I've not got any real pace up front. I've got like around 80 pace, which is fast, but it's not like super fast to get away from defenders. Stevenson. It's fast enough to uh, be able to give myself a better space for a shot, but it's not fast enough to actually Ryan zoom away Jackson. and give myself all the time and in the world. In the it's enough to give myself a better time. Will should have that. That's a bit concerning. Clear it away for a throw. That was an easy catch. It's because of his morale. Whatever, he's pulled out a couple of good saves today so far. I complain too much. I mean, I'll complain if he concedes, but until then I can't complain too much. Cross is far, catch your headers. Carbonero, I panicked a little bit because it looked like he was coming in and they didn't. Oh, they bait me in again, but nice by Kakache. Although he's been taken down here. Possession has been lost. Oh, what? Hold on a minute. Is it going to stay on? It is. Grinkov closes Given it down for Colchester corner, and I think it might be time corner. to make some substitutions here. Some of these legs are very tired, including Mason Greenwoods, who's going to make way for Robert, see if he can add a little bit more to his incredible goal scoring run this season. And we will bring on Akpan for Grinkov, because I feel like O'Leary's had the better performance. And I want to see if O'Leary can keep up that performance. Lapsley coming on for Conley as well, or Comley, I should say, for Colchester. Bit of freshness in the midfield. A lot of players will be tired at this point in the season because the fixtures do stack up towards the end of the season. We've got Roberts coming on for Greenwood, who has scored his goal today. Will it be the winning goal? Time will tell. And in the end, it's a good, good day out for Greenwood. A goal, still not top scorer, however, because... Uh, Sigurdsson scored again, but I don't think that's the uh, that's not my focus anymore. Akpan brings it away to Roberts. On one more to McCartan. Just need to outpower him. Just need to get at least to get, uh, get away from him there. But Richard Young's pretty fast as well. Oh, you got to joking. I don't know what happened there, but uh, but Millwall Warrell get the ball. N.K. Dons have scored, and they're two-one up. Because we can't concede now. I didn't want to before, but it means we literally yeah, aren't able to. McCartan try to spot Roberts. It's going to be a corner to us. Oh, we can never seem to find a second goal. They have to actually equalise first before we can get a second. It's just the way it goes in the League One, apparently. All right, fans chanting here. Hopefully... They're trying for a second goal in a matter of seconds. Carbonero delivering to so Joe Worrell, who wins the header, but it's going to go wide. I don't know if that's a corner, though, or if it's just an off-target header. Well, there's your answer. I'm pretty sure it's a corner. I think it might have come off the guy's head, unless I'm just completely blind. It did come off the guy's head, yep. Yeah, corner. I was actually back on my stream as well. 
Kloshek. Akpan, it's not going to go in. In fact, it's not going to be very good for us at all. Vincent Young is using every single inch of pace right now to burst down this right-hand side. Carbonero's one has to head it away, but he does. And it's away from what would have been a potentially dangerous counter-attack. Oh, I just need Greenwood to pass it on one more there straight away instead of taking the touch. Although it was closed down quite quickly, so... Tackle by Worrell. O'Leary. Carbonero's got some space, please. I know you're tired, buddy, but... Can we just send it in for a second? Oh, that's unfortunate for them. That is unfortunate for them, but we get a second goal anyway. Adam Hloshek, played through by Carbonero. Everyone is exhausted on both teams, I think, at this point in the season, but... We got the goal... Unfortunate for Gherkin, who did get a hand to it, but not enough for it to be saved. And I hope we've sealed Colchester's fate here, and obviously our uh, maybe our spot in the playoffs. MK Dons won, or are winning. Lincoln were drawing last time I checked. I don't remember the Millwall score, but I think Millwall are losing. But it doesn't matter, because we should, key word is should here, Unless I absolutely throw the game. We should get the victory here. Should keep us in spot for playoffs. Even if MK Dons do get the victory. Should be able to stay in the spot for the uh, playoffs. I think we need... Uh, I don't think I'll have one more substitution to make. I don't know who to make. I don't know who to bring off, I should say. Maybe Carbonero gets a break next game. He's, not a, he's, had, he's played a lot of the games this season. But it's only because he's been so bloody effective. O'Leary has been effective today. Chasing down balls and just all pretty much all up and making an impact. That's not the ball. I mean, it is the ball, obviously, because we're playing football, but it's not the pass I wanted to make. Or not the style of pass I wanted to make, I should say. I'm more precise with that. Roberts. Bloshek. Oh, it's no. Losing his balance. And not able to get the possession back of Jackson. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off. Oh, don't, 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 Grill got a hand to it as well. It's just unfortunate, really. Just please, for the love of God, don't bottle this. Josh Phillips getting one back for Colchester, and hopefully that's the only one they get. It's his first goal the entire season. Trust me, 43 games in to fucking well, concede to a guy who hasn't been able to score all season. Well, Trust me. No, 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 no. We keep possession. I, <laughs> I'm literally game. so tempted to pass around the back, but I don't want to be a scum. O'Leary, Carbonero, Loshek should just be on side. In the middle, it was in for Greenwood, but it's defended away because it went all the way to McCartan for some absurd reason. No point in stubborn and Isimov on now. McCartan's just kind of the same fitness. And we're going to have a, a amount of injury time here. It's four minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? Where are these four minutes coming from? I have absolutely no idea. How the game is decided. Yeah, four minutes. It's probably just trying to piss me off. Warwell, please put us on target. You've got to be fucking me. He's hit, he's headed it unmarked completely. 100% unmarked. He's just bounced it into the ground and it's gone fucking way over. And that's it's bloody annoying. It bloody is. Bloody. But it doesn't matter as long as we can just hold on to the three points here. Oh, it's crunch time in Bradford. In Can we hold here. on? Loshik can't receive possession. They might pass it all the way back to Gherkin here. I don't know what they're doing, actually, to be honest. Okay. They might have time for one more attack here, for, especially if we let them through like this. What the hell is going on? Ryan Jackson. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. No way do they do this. No way do they actually do this. They could pick out a teammate. 
Over the top, thank bloody God. I was going to say, no way do they actually pull this off. Full time 2-1, bit shaky at the end. That I'm just putting that down to fatigue. We get the win. We get the job done. 2-1, Bradford City, Mason Greenwood going on to 31, but Sigurdsson going on to 32. I think the uh, Golden Boot Race is not going to be won by a Bradford City player, but that doesn't matter as long as the playoffs are. I should say are won by the Bradford City team, but a 2-1 win. Greenwood opening the scoring. Boschick making it 2. Phillips getting one back to make me panic a little bit, but at the end of the day, we take the... It sounds like I'm talking, to a bottle, talking into a bottle, it's because I am. Carbonero, 9.4, man of the match today. I'm pretty sure he assisted both goals. He did indeed. Goals from uh, Lushek and Greenwood, I should say. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I, I'm just used to saying I should say now, even when I'm not making a mistake. 8.4 for Lushek, 8.1 for O'Leary, who put in a hell of a performance today, a hell of a grind. 7.6 only for Greenwood, but he did score the first goal, so the end of the world. Uh, more shots on target for them, more possession for them. I'd say it's probably an even game and maybe deserve to be a draw, but I'm fucking happy it's not. Walsall absolutely demolishing Burton. Lincoln losing. Millwall losing. MK Dons winning, which is a bit of an issue. But teams above us losing, which is useful. We might go into fifth and MK Dons might go to sixth. Lincoln might fall out of playoffs. I don't remember the points exactly. Take a look at the table, of course, after the conference here. Colchester United was the underdog coming to this one. You might have beaten them, but not my match. Your thoughts on the result? I don't think they were underdogs. Uh, we were prepared for the worst. Tired of any match, could always turn against you if you let your guard down. Glad they closed us out and won. I didn't really look on 10. That's a bit. Mm. If you want to get anything, the Colchester United played well. They did alright. Not as well as us. We respect our opponent and they played well, but clearly Bradford City's players played better. Let's try and get morale up a little bit because they are way down. Probably upset and not going to get automatic promotion. Were you at all concerned about the result when Colchester United scored in the last minutes of the match? Yes, obviously. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. It's, uh, I had no concern. <clears throat> Despite the late goal, we are still in the driver's seat. I had no concerns. The boys deserved all the credit for seeing this game out and getting the result. Obviously, I was concerned, but I'm not going to Thanks, that's that. all the questions we have for you. Just the press. All right. Another win. We are in fifth. It's exactly how I said. We're in fifth. MK Dons move up to sixth. Lincoln fall out of the playoffs. But it's still all to play for. I mean, we could even still get third. Anyway. Is my my auto working okay? Oh, I think it's working okay. McCartan's giving us a little cheeky message here. Cheeky DM. Hey, Gaffer, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there to play on form. Uh, influential performance. He didn't do much, really, but he was there, I guess. <laughs> your outstanding performance and your hunger to play will turn you into a role model for the rest of the squad. Uh, we've also got another message. I didn't check. Transfer for Grill again. Probably give the same response. Sheffield United. Oh. Okay. So, Premier... Oh, sorry. Championship team. Think they can have him as their starting goalkeeper, but I can't. Hmm. Okay. Well... I'll give you the same response I gave Tigres, I think it was, who they called. Uh, 8.5 at the highest, no lower than 7.5. I think that's a fair bit of money, especially since we can get 8. I could go 9 and 8 there, but I'm being a bit generous. Because any amount of money would be good for us next season. Let's take a look. Uh, why have you just got random... Why, why does it do this? It just randomly give, gives us our inbox when there's no messages. Anyway, Bristol are our next opponents, and I'm pretty sure they are in 23rd, and they are, yep, relegated. They are definitely relegated. So, they've got nothing to play for, so how about just letting us have a cheeky three points against you, and uh, we can uh, continue our season, and you can uh, go where you belong in the lower leagues. Peter still haven't got it wrapped up. What happened in the Wickham game, then? Interesting. Uh, it's obviously this month. Is my brain off? Um, I thought people were wrapped up. Oh, they drew and Barnsley won. So, I mean, technically, there's an outside chance of Barnsley stealing the title if people lose all their last few games. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Top two is definite now. Ipswich, probably in the playoffs. Millwall, 
still could fall out. We could still fall out. MK Dons could still fall out. Lincoln and Charlton could still sneak in. Wickham aren't going to make it mathematically now. 10 points separates them and there's only 9 points up for grabs left. But we have still got a bit of work to do towards the end of the season. We are joined with Sigur Sigurdsson. I thought we had... I thought he had one more goal than us. Oh, fine. They, we are joined with Sigurdsson on the goals. But that's not important. We get the win. And hopefully... How's our fitness? Oh, bloody hell. It's, oh, it's all gone to shit. All right, let's take a look at what the can last last few games of the calendar. Obviously, we'll do Bristol and Millwall as tomorrow's double upload. Gillingham will be Monday to finish off the season. Obviously, it won't be the finish of the season if we can make it into playoffs, which I'm praying we can. I really don't want to mess this up. Bristol should be a cakewalk. Keyword is should. Probably will end up losing that somehow. Millwall will be a challenge. But I'm just hoping we can get some sort of result. And then Gillingham, I'm pretty sure, just mid-table somewhere. So, uh, hoping for a victory, but probably won't get one. Where are Gillingham? 15th. Okay. So, mixed bag at the end of the season. We've got 23rd, 4th, and 15th to play. So, it's kind of a bit of everywhere. Three games left. I really want to keep playing this career mode to finish the season, but I'm going to not do that. So, I record Sunday's episode tomorrow, which will be technically today. It's confusing. But I'm going to stop talking and let you guys get on with your day. I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of the Bradford City career mode. We beat Colchester. We go up to fifth. Still nothing confirmed, though. We need to keep winning. We need to win these last three games to secure playoffs. And then we need to win the three games after that to secure promotion to the championship but like i said i hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you very very soon for some more rapid city career mode bye for now